Hello everyone, welcome to this Premiere tutorial on how to take a Photoshop file and incorporate it into Premiere so that you can use its graphics features. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to have a, a uh, Photoshop file here. Um, it's just a regular PSD file. You don't want to compress it or you know uh, merge the layers because you need each layer to be separate so you can animate them separately. So you see that I have three layers here. I have a background layer, I have layer one which has the tic tac um, icon and then I have layer 3 which only has the the uh, text right so once you get your Photoshop file like this um, and you, you want to save it as, as a PSD file and then you want to go to Premiere so when you're in Premiere what you want to do is what I like to do is I like to put all of these in their own separate sequence so that you on your main file you can only have the one sequence instead of having a ton of different tracks and everything that are related to your graphics or whatever. So I go to new sequence. I'm going to name that Tic Tac Open. This is going to be an example of how we made the Tic Tac opening at the beginning of this video. Hit OK. So now I've got, I've got Tic Tac Open here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import my PSD file and it's going to ask me, do you want to import it as footage, which is going to merge all the layers, which is not what we want to do. We want to import it as sequence. Hit OK. And that's going to come in like that. And I also have an audio file to import. So we'll do that. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take each of these files and we're going to drag them onto their own video layer. All right. Now, I want to hit the back slash key which is going to expand the timeline so that we can see uh, the things that we're working with and I'm going to click on all of these and I want to expand this to about seven seconds okay so then I'm going to take the uh, wave file and drop it on and it's going to go down here to audio 4 because the, the uh, Photoshop files layers can't have audio associated with them alright so now you see that we have all of these things. If we play it, it'll just play for seven seconds um, and won't really do anything of interest. But what's what's nice and the reason that you want to do this is that you can uh, animate each of these things separately so that you can get some pretty nice effects. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to click on the, the layer with text and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to turn on my position animation and I'm going to go over here I'm going to set this to a thousand at the very beginning because I don't want it to be on the screen I want to scroll in so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the tic tac guy and I want him to um, go up and down based on the audio thing that I made the classic tic tac in the box that was you know, done so well on Seinfeld so what we're going to do is is we're going to go over here and we're going to set a keyframe of rotation on the first position because we want him to be start in the middle and then I'm going to take my guy here and I'm going to find the first which is about there the first little thing uh, the first hit of the tic tacs and I'm going to come over here back to rotation and I'm going to set another keyframe and I'm going to put it on 10. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going until I hear the next one and I'm going to set another keyframe. I'm going to put that on minus 10 and then I'm going to keep going until I hear the last one and I'm going to put that on 0. So now if we play this off in the beginning you'll see that it does that. So we've already got some animation going. So the next thing I'm going to do is at about this point I'm going to start to bring the uh, text in from the side. And so what I'm going to do is is I'm going to set a keyframe here because I, I still want it to start off the screen at that point. And, and then I'm going to take my indicator of where we are and I'm going to move it all the way to the end. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this not there but there so much. And so what it'll do is that it'll interpolate and it'll figure out how to get from there to there in the correct amount of time. So if we go back to the beginning and hit play, 
and we see that it's going to come on and there you go so that is how you incorporate a Photoshop file with layers into your Premiere project. Now you could do this if you had a graphic that you wanted to be on the screen. You could do that and if you wanted to be an animated graphic. You, know, you could do that. You, there's all kinds of uses that you can use for this. So now if you wanted to bring this into your regular movie without having all of that um, without having all those layers and everything, all you have to do is, is drag the sequence on and you'll see that you only have one video and one audio file on your on your actual movie itself so you don't have a whole, all that clutter there you go I hope that was helpful